I'm, 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 uh, I'm reprising some oldies. <laughs> well, out of necessity, really. <laughs> um, and you know, it's just, it's just terribly dry up here this evening. Uh, I bet there's not one person here tonight who doesn't have some secret quirk. Some hidden addiction. How about smelling new books? A lot of people like to chew the sticky off of scotch tape. Some people like to take a two-ply tissue and lightly touch their moist tongue to the top layer. I had a friend who ate newspaper. She never ate the front page because too many people handled it. <laughs> My name. My name is Lucille W. It's all right. I can talk about it now. Of course, there was a time when I couldn't. When I look back on it, I think it all started with rubber bands. Wasn't, oh, I left out a part. I left out a part. See? That's your kind. Of, I haven't done this monologue in 15 years. Okay. Start over. I have to start over. I forgot. I forgot to state the problem. My name is Lucille W. I'm a rubber freak. <laughs> it's all right. I can talk about it now. Of course, there was a time when I couldn't. When I look back on it, I think it all started with rubber bands. I wasn't actually swallowing them in those days. I just sort of munched on them. Sometimes I'd take one and stretch it from one eye tooth to the other. Sort of twang it. Then one day I sat down to balance my checkbook. I must have blacked out. Because when I came to, I realized I'd eaten the eraser off my pencil. <laughs> was in no time at all. I was up to 20 pencils a day. All my friends, my relatives, they started saying, Lucille, don't you think you've had enough? I thought I could handle it. I really did. I thought I could quit any time I wanted. Instead, I became a secret eraser eater. I started to take all my household money and spend it on art gum. I was putting on weight. One day, my husband came home early. I was just finishing off one of those old typewriter erasers. <laughs> he caught me with the brush sticking out of my mouth. <laughs> From then on, it was just straight downhill all the way. I went right on the heavy stuff. Things started to disappear around the house. <laughs> At first, I was careful, you know. Door stops. <laughs> Backs off the shag rugs. <laughs> Tip off mother's cane. Sometimes, sometimes I'd be playing canasta with the girls. I don't know what would come over me. I'd just jump up, run in the kitchen, and eat a spatula. <laughs> Pretty soon, I just didn't seem to care anymore. The garden hose went. On rainy days, 
I used to hang out around grade school cloakrooms. <laughs> it was a court psychiatrist. He saved my life, he really did. I was down on my hands and knees thinking that man. I ate his crepe soles. <laughs> I'm not doing full pieces, see, because some of them, like that piece is about 20-some, oh, forget that, but quite a bit older than I am. <laughs> and, uh, and people, no, 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 no. And, uh, and people's consciousness, you know, about 12-step uh, programs and AA and so on is different now, and the piece used to end after other certain litanies, she'd say, uh, I'm, I'm no, no longer a woman obsessed with an unnatural craving. I'm just another normal, socially acceptable alcoholic. But that doesn't, you know, that doesn't compute anymore. I just want to show you how life can pass you by.